Welcome, dear readers, to our channel. Amidst the ever-changing landscape of the semiconductor industry, there is an entrepreneur whose name is not widely known but has profoundly influenced China's chip industry with a lifetime of dedication. That name is Zhong Ruijing. How did he ignite the flames of China's chip industry from Nanjing to the world, engaging in a two-decade-long battle with TSMC, and never regretting his commitment to nation-building through chip manufacturing? Let's delve into the extraordinary entrepreneurial journey of Zhang Ruijing. Born in 1948 into a family with a remarkable scientific background, Zhang Ruijing's father, a renowned physicist, had contributed to the development of China's first atomic bomb. Zhang's family background infused him with the blood of a scientist. Moving to Taiwan at the age of one, Zhang's family continued to flourish in this house of wisdom on new soil. This family background planted the seeds of scientific exploration in Zhang Ruijing. Excelling in his studies, especially during his time at National Taiwan University's Mechanical Engineering Department, Zhang earned sponsorship from the Taiwan provincial government to pursue further studies in the United States. However, due to restrictions on Chinese students in the U.S. at that time, he had to pivot to the then relatively niche field of electronics, marking the beginning of his journey into semiconductors. During his tenure at Texas Instruments, Zhang transitioned from an electronic student to the semiconductor field, laying the technical foundation for China's chip rise. Joining Texas Instruments in 1978 as a chip R&D engineer, he marked the starting point of his career. How to lead a team in developing groundbreaking chip products amidst the waves of technological innovation became the cornerstone of his career with a profound understanding of the chip industry. Zhang proposed the idea of establishing chip manufacturing facilities in the U.S. successfully driving Texas Instruments to build two large chip factories on the east and west coasts, he significantly increased the company's production and market share. Subsequently, he turned his attention to Europe, successfully establishing factories in multiple countries, providing localized chip products for the European market. How to rapidly elevate Texas instruments in the international market became a crucial milestone in Zhang Ruijing's career. In 1997, Zhang returned to China to develop the country's chip industry, founding Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC. Faced with various challenges in the early stages of China's chip industry, he decisively chose to establish a presence in Taiwan first, contributing to the country's chip industry. In Taiwan, he successfully developed SMIC into the third largest chip company, following only TSMC and UMC. However, his competition with TSMC laid the groundwork for his later entrepreneurial path. In 2000, Zhang returned to the mainland and founded SMIC International. Confronted with equipment limitations and a shortage of talent, he quickly attracted industry experts and high-level core technical personnel through finding alternative equipment solutions and high-paying recruitment. SMIC International rose rapidly within a few years, becoming the world's fourth-largest chip manufacturer. However, the competition with TSMC brought various challenges and setbacks, making SMIC International undergo a series of tests during its 20-year competition with TSMC, shaping the development and challenges of China's chip industry. I in the early days at Texas Instruments, Zhang Ruijing and TSMC's founder, Morris Chang, worked together, cultivating a complex cooperative relationship between the two semiconductor giants. Once colleagues, they are now striving independently in the global semiconductor market, not only as competitors but also as witnesses to the rise of China's chip industry. How this intricate friendship unfolds amid international market conflicts becomes a fascinating tale in the semiconductor world. During their early days at Texas Instruments, Zhang Ruijing and Morris Chang found themselves at the beginning of the semiconductor field. They faced emerging semiconductor technologies together, immersing themselves in innovative laboratories. These years witnessed the close collaboration between the two young engineers in technical exploration and product development. 
perhaps discussing technical challenges in the same lab or exploring unknown areas together, they laid a solid foundation for deep technical collaboration. Accumulating experience in the semiconductor field, both Zhong Ruijing and Morris Chang chose to start their own businesses in Taiwan. Though on different paths, the journeys of these entrepreneurs were similar. In Taiwan, facing similar challenges such as market competition, technological breakthroughs, and financial pressures. They might have met in Taiwan science parks during some entrepreneurial events, sharing experiences or collectively promoting the rise of Taiwan semiconductor industry in industry seminars. The years of working together remain precious experiences in their hearts, witnessing the rise of China's chip industry. Expanding on the complex relationship between SMIC and TSMC, let's look at two real examples. In the early 2000s, SMIC faced legal disputes with TSMC over intellectual property rights, mirroring the legal battles between other semiconductor companies. Despite the legal conflicts, both companies continued to innovate and push the boundaries of semiconductor technology. Another example is the collaboration and competition in the field of advanced packaging technology. SMIC and TSMC both invested heavily in developing advanced packaging solutions, competing to bring new and efficient packaging technologies to the market. This dual nature of collaboration and competition showcases the intricate dynamics between the two semiconductor giants. The rise of SMIC brought intense competition with TSMC, involving repeated clashes in technological innovation, market share, and talent acquisition. In 1999, TSMC successfully acquired SMIC's competitor, Vanguard International Semiconductor Corporation. However, SMIC did not weaken, instead, through multiple confrontations, it gradually caught up. Behind the harsh competition lies the question of whether there is still room for collaboration. Can these two giants collaborate to propel the development of China's chip industry? SMIC's rise in the domestic market was not without challenges. They faced setbacks in international politics and business competition. From technological innovation to intellectual property protection, SMIC underwent a series of challenges and breakthroughs. However, these challenges drove continuous progress in China's chip industry, allowing SMIC to stand out in the global market established in 2000 by Zhong Ruijing. SMIC faced enormous pressure in its early days. Due to U.S. restrictions on semiconductor equipment, SMIC encountered obstacles in equipment procurement and talent recruitment. Nevertheless, Zhong Ruijing persevered, seeking alternative equipment solutions and recruiting a large number of industry experts and core technical personnel from TSMC at high salaries. This quickly formed a powerful team for SMIC through extensive technological innovation. SMIC gradually caught up with the leading companies in the industry. The company made significant breakthroughs in process technology, chip design, and other areas, resulting in a significant improvement in product quality and performance. Driven by technological innovation, SMIC became a prominent chip manufacturer. SMIC's development extended beyond the Chinese market to actively cover the global market. The company established multiple production bases in Europe, America, and Southeast Asia, providing customized and localized chip products and solutions for local customers. This global market layout positioned SMIC favorably in international competition. In 2019, SMIC subsidiary, Shanghai Nusheng Semiconductor, achieved a major breakthrough in 12-inch high-purity polycrystalline silicon technology, marking a significant advancement in China's critical chip manufacturing material sector. This breakthrough not only supported SMIC's technological accumulation, but also marked an important step in China's independent research and development in the chip industry. With continuous technological innovation, global market layout, and breakthroughs in independent research and development, SMIC has developed into the world's fourth-largest chip manufacturer. In the fierce competition with global giants, 
SMIC's rise not only earned respect for China's chip industry, but also injected new vitality into the global semiconductor market. In its continuous exploration and innovation, SMIC has provided strong support for the flourishing development of China's chip industry. With the continuous progress of technology, SMIC is expected to play a more important role in the global semiconductor industry, contributing more power to China's rise in this field. After retiring, Zhong Ruijing founded Shanghai New Sheng Semiconductor, dedicated to breaking through the bottlenecks of the chip industry. Achieving a major breakthrough in 12-inch high-purity polycrystalline silicon technology in 2019, he marked an important step toward the localization of China's chip manufacturing. His innovative efforts not only challenge the industry but also validate his technical depth and innovation capabilities once again. The new attempt by Shanghai New Sheng Semiconductor is a focal point in the industry, and how it will drive the development of China's chip industry is closely watched. Conclusion in conclusion, let's summarize for our readers. Hoping you have gained insights and reflections. In the developmental journey of China's chip industry, Zhong Ruijing's life resembles a gripping legend. His intricate friendship with TSMC, the competitive cooperative relationship between SMIC International and TSMC, and the series of challenges and breakthroughs faced by China's chip industry constitute essential chapters of this era. His story tells us that the road of technological innovation is full of twists, but daring to challenge and persisting in innovation can script one's legendary tale. In the journey of the new era, Zhong Ruijing's footsteps will continue to inspire the vibrant development of China's chip industry. Zhong Ruijing, with courage and wisdom, has written the rise of China's semiconductor industry. In competition and adversity, he remains undaunted, unwavering in his original aspiration to manufacture chips for the nation. Today, his spirit remains immortal, inspiring a new generation of tech entrepreneurs. Zhong Ruijing's story tells us that only by daring to dream and advancing boldly can one write their own legendary chapter and contribute to the technological rise of the nation. That concludes today's video. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.